Hey, welcome to Game Pro. I'm JD Roth, and we're ready to put the pedal to the metal with an all-new selection of tip tactics and reviews. Hey, you know the drill by now. And where does it all come from? Hey, this stuff is so good, it can only come from Game Pro Magazine, the number one source for home and arcade game greatness. You want to see what I'm talking about? All right, just kick it and follow me to SWAT World. Secret weapons and tactics. For all you gusher goons out there, you'll be happy to know that Rick's back in town in Splatterhouse 2 for the Genesis. And once again, he's grabbed a hold of his 2x4 and set off to rescue Jennifer from the Evil One and all the other nasty residents from the Splatterhouse mansion. So, if you're ready to hack through this house of horror and its meanest level, use this password and skip straight to level 8. First, get into the password screen. Now. Enter E-D-K-V-E-I-I-A-L-L-D-L, -L -L -L, and you'll be ready to rumble all the splatter-happy ghouls. Here's the password one more time. In the password screen, enter E-D-K-V-E-I-I-A-L-L-D-L. -L -L. Hey, that's all there is to it but to come out swinging. Whoa. Hey, pal. Not too bad, huh? All right. For all you world warriors out there, I think you'll agree that the greatest challenge you can face would be the notorious M. Bison, the evil crime boss who controls Thailand's illicit smuggling operation in Street Fighter II for the Super Nintendo. Now, simply beating this goon is not going to be enough because the victory ceremony you witness after Bison's defeat depends in large measure on how you beat him, not just if you beat him. Here's a few examples of what you have to look forward to as you improve your game. The tougher the game difficulty and the fewer the number of rounds and continues taken, the better the victory ceremony. Now, if you manage to beat the game in level 7 without switching characters throughout the tournament, you'll get a personalized ending sequence for your character, plus a congratulatory screen which depicts the eight world warriors together. If you can win the battle without using any continues, the special screen will now show all 12 characters, including the bosses. Finally, if you could complete the cart without losing a single round, in addition to the congratulatory screen, you'll also hear Chun-Li say, Ya Tai, by pressing the start button. Well, now you've seen what's possible. It's up to you to fight your way to these conclusions. Whoa. Hey, I'm on my way to Blockbuster Video. Why don't you join me? Come along for the ride. Hey, check it. I'm in front of the number one place to rent the hottest video games around. Let's take it inside and I'll show you what I mean. Hey, check it out. We're talking the latest cars for the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and the NES. Hey, this place even has the Philips Imagination Machine. Very fresh. What do you say we see what cars made the top ten list this week? The Blockbuster Video Top Ten Video Game Rentals for this month are... So if you want to try out any of the carts you just saw, hey, you know where to get them. And be sure to pick up your copy of Game Pro Magazine. Let's check out this week's Blockbuster Pro Review. I was just checking out what the magazine had to say about Alien 3 for the Genesis game system. 
stuff is very scary. But hey, why should I have all the fun, you know? How about we all check out this new game based on the hit summer movie? While it's been a good 15 years since the alien first jumped out of some guy's stomach and onto movie screens everywhere, this is the alien's first assault in the home video game format. Now, created for the Genesis and based on Ripley's third go-around, the game takes place on Fiorina 161, the old mining colony, which is now a remote prison colony. When you step into Ripley's combat boots, your marine warship, the Sulaco, has just crash-landed on Fiorina 161, and there are no survivors. That is, except Ripley and a nasty alien stowaway. And let me tell you, all the prisoners look like one fine smorgasbord for the hungry aliens. The game divides up into three different stage categories. In the rescue stages, Ripley's goal is to release all the prisoners before time runs out. In the exterminate stages, our heroine must hunt and kill as many aliens as she can within a set time limit. Now in the mission stage, she gets to rescue the prisoners and destroy the aliens. Whoa, tough day at the office. Hey, get ready for a load of alien nasties creeping, crawling, and slinking their way through any nook and cranny of the prison colony. Aliens rush you from off screen and have even been known to drop from above and smack right onto your face. Yuck. One significant difference between the movie and the game are the weapons. Now, if you saw Alien 3, you'll remember that Ripley and her companions were completely unarmed. While in the home game, Ripley's packing more firepower than you're going to know what to do with it. But use it. You're definitely going to need it. Now, Alien 3 balances straight-up arcade-style action with enough tension to capture the nail-biting mood of the movie. The graphics are happening, and the sound of a shot destroying an alien, well, it'll just, like, send a chill down your spine. Hey, this one is the scary video cart, and remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Ah! The accessory for Game Boy. Check the stores. Nothing gives you more. Candy Boy. You're into it. Hey, this dude's bogus. Get a Game Pro! Game Pro Magazine has all you need to annihilate the competition. Awesome tips and ultimate scoring secrets. To be the best, you gotta get a Game Pro. On sale now at a new stand near you. That's my dad. And that's mom. Dad's got an idea. A way to get rid of all the grody garbage that's polluting the world. He's invented a big rocket ship to shoot all the garbage into outer space. Mom's not sure. But dad says... His invention will save the world. There's an easier way to save the world. Recycle. For your free recycling action guide, write Recycle. Environmental Defense Fund, 257 Park Avenue South, New York, New York. There's only one official strategy guide to Street Fighter II. One place to learn the crushing combo. One place to master the killer throw. One place to analyze the awesome attack. One place to study the special techniques. Announcing the official ultimate strategy guide to Street Fighter II by the Masters of Menace from Game Pro Magazine. Get it today and discover a whole new way to get your game. Welcome back to Game Pro. Secret weapons and tactics. I've always wanted to do that. Captain Kirk and the crew were beaming up for another interstellar adventure in Star Trek for your Nintendo Entertainment System. So, if you're ready to take the Starship Enterprise where no man or woman has gone before, I want you to listen up to this password tip because it's truly awesome. This password is designed to take you straight to IOSHA. 
Simply enter the password screen and then punch in JH1L explanation XX3 space K question mark DD. Now, blast off into a great video adventure. Cool. All right, check it out. Here's the password one more time. At the password screen, enter JH1L explanation XX3 space K question mark DD. Go get them, fellow Trekkies. In Prince of Persia for the Game Boy, you enter a complex labyrinth in search of your long lost love, the royal princess. Now the princess has been snatched by the conniving usurper Jaffer, and to get her back, you're going to have to cross swords with all sorts of baddies until you reach the ultimate goal. However, if you use this little password trick we've cooked up, you can jump straight to the final battle against the evil Jay in level 12 and bring back the babe. Not bad. Check this out. First, enter the password screen. Now, plug in 561-35664 and zap. It's straight to the final level and the final battle. One more time, enter that password I told you, 561-356-64, and get ready to cross swords with Jay, the only baddie between you and your princess. Right, let's begin with a quick history lesson. You remember how the ghoul world first burst into action for the arcade, NES, and Genesis in Capcom's original screamer, Ghost and Ghouls? Then, Firebrand the Gargoyle showed up again to do battle on the Game Boy Adventure called Gargoyle's Quest. Well, gang, the Gargoyle realm's rocking and rolling once again in Gargoyle's Quest 2 for the NES. Here's the story. All right, after the conclusion of Gargoyle's Quest 1, Firebrand decided to leave his hometown of Artoria to begin his warrior training. While he was gone, a strange black light appeared and drained all the magical elements from the land. This left life a little on the dark and dingy side back at home in Artoria, if you know what I mean. Firebrand, being one smart gargoyle, figures out how to eliminate the problem. No problem? That's what you think. Firebrand's mission will take him through seven major battle areas where our favorite gargoyle will fight a little, converse a little, and pray a whole lot that he doesn't fail miserably. In true role-playing game tradition, Firebrand must build up his powers as he goes along. He begins three lives and the ability to launch tiny fireballs from his mouth. While he can fly, well, uh, his skills are a bit unimpressive to say the least. But as time goes on and more battles are won, things start to improve. Hey, his firepower increases, his wing and jumping strength get a whole lot better, and he acquires the means to purchase sophisticated tools and magic. While the colorful graphics present Firebrand with an all-new look that I know you're going to like, the gameplay may not be as challenging as what you're used to. On the other hand, this is probably going to be the last time we can play with this long, popular character on an 8-bit system. So uh, you just might want to give Gargoyle Quest 2 a try out. After all, Firebrand the Gargoyle has never disappointed us before. All right, Rick is back in Splatterhouse 2, and if you've been working out on this Genesis game card, you're probably a few dozen blood-gushing punches away from freeing Rick's beloved Jennifer from the clutches of evil. If you made it to the last stage, then you've been introduced to that big blob that stands between you and the lovely Jennifer. Well, on today's Game Buster segment, watch how it all comes to an end. First, to make it to the final round, you have to dodge the barrage of red-hot doggies tossed by the big blob. To do this, position yourself as close as possible to his face and rapid punch like there's no tomorrow. Now, when this bloody beauty exits, move away from the center because that's where old Blobhead is going to drop. When the glob transforms into a bat creature, throw a few punches and the party is over. First, there goes the house. 
Yikes. Then, check it out. Rick and Jennifer are together again. Or are they? More super secret weapons and tactics to come on Game Pro. Where can you find all kinds of value? Dairy Queen. There are all kinds of burgers, hot dogs, chicken and fish sandwiches, and more to tempt you. Plus all kinds of treats you can't get anywhere else. It's all here at Dairy Queen. It's all for you. We give you taste. We give you value. We treat you right. Dairy Queen. I'm not the Beastie Boys or on DMC. I'm not Jay Leno or someone named Shaky. I wrote that. Boing. I wrote that. Z -z 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 Zodiac. Z -z 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 Zodiac. I wrote that. We got every comedian and their mother here at Comedy Central. The only all comedy network. Word to your mother. That's me. I'm his mother. Word to me. Dave, back up. This isn't a zit commercial. Thanks. All right. I got 40 seconds to talk about the hottest video game magazine on the planet. That's right, mister. I'm talking Game Pro Magazine. Ah! Check it out, bud. Bam! You get all these secret tips and tactics on how to beat really tough games. I'm talking action. I'm talking fantasy. Sports. If it's out there, you will beat it. Ah! Also, GamePro has these previews of new games and new game systems. And they review the games for you so you know what's hot and what's not. Okay, bud, zoom in. Tell them how to subscribe and get a free gift. You can subscribe by calling 1-800-255-5000. Dudes under 12, get your parents to call. Subscribe and you'll get 12 monthly issues for $14.97. You save 68% off the newsstand price. And when you order, you also get this awesome Game Pro poster free. So order today. Game Pro rules. 1-800-255-5000. Welcome back to Game Pro. Hey, Turtle Power has never been more awesome than in the latest Super Nintendo installment, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. In this all-new epic featuring the fabulous green team, Krang has swiped the Statue of Liberty. And everyone knows that the Big Apple's the home turf of the Turtles. And if you're gonna play, hey, you better get ready to pay. Now, you know if Krang is going to make a move on the First Lady of the Big Apple, the Teenage Mutant Meisters are going to fight back. The battle leads them to the Technodrome, where they run smack into their old nemesis, the Shredder. A no problemo. They wipe out Shredhead every time they mix it up, right? Wrong. Because this time the Shredhead zaps the anxious amphibians across several thousand years of history. Whoa. No time for a pizza break here, because each level's swarming with Shredder's Foot Clan slime balls and mutant misfits. Hey, you'll run into some of your favorite turtle villains. Razor, Toka, Metalhead, and of course, Baxter. And hey, check this out. That's just the first level. In fact, level one features four fighting scenes through New York City, all leading up to a direct confrontation with Shredder in the Technodrome. And by the way, this Technodrome battle scene is not from the arcade game, so we're talking all new turtle action. Now, just when you think you got Shredhead licked, Zap City. You're transported backwards and forwards in time. You'll travel through Level 2's Dinosaur Land, Level 3's Galleon Ship, and even warp to the Old West Cowboy Train. Now, you don't expect me to tell you what happens, do you? Hey, what spoiled the surprise? I will tell you, if the graphics in this SNES cart look familiar, that's because Konami has done a great job of reproducing the graphics from the popular arcade games. It looks great, it sounds great, it even plays great. So, if you like hacking and slashing action the way I do, Turtles 4 will once again remind you why it's great to be a turtle. Hang on to your shells. Konami and GamePro are sponsoring the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time Contest. 
to enter. Get the new Turtles in Time game. Then, take a photo of your highest score. Now, by December 30th, send the photo, your name, phone number, and address to Game Pro. Turtles in Time contest. Box 3027, Redwood City, California, 94064. Hey, the highest score wins a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade machine. 20 other cool prizes will also be awarded. Oh, hey, time to take a look at what's going on in the world of handheld software. As Game Gear, Game Boy, Lynx, and others battle for supremacy in the handheld wars, the result is some terrific game cards falling into the pockets of game pros everywhere. Let's check out a couple new entries. First up, for all of you who become fans of Smash TV on the Super Nintendo and Genesis systems, you'll be happy to know that this popular game now fits into your pocket. Smash TV is available for the Game Gear, and that means the quest for more money, more action, and more violence is available for the small screen. So get ready to go to war. Mutoid Man, Scarface, and Cobra Head are waiting. One of the world's favorite space adventures has found its way to the Game Boy screen in Star Wars. If you've been playing this game on the NES, you'll be happy to know that all the same ingredients have been packed into the Game Boy, and just like the movie, this game is a video delicacy. Cool. Now, the Game Boy isn't the only system with heroes in action, because you can now find Spider-Man playing on the Sega Game Gear. In a game which stays extremely faithful to the popular Marvel comic book series, Spidey climbs walls, shoots webbing, and swings from screen to screen in this action-packed battle to save New York. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And finally, there's Pinball that's gone portable. Two of the hottest pinball tables to date have paired up in Pinball Jam for the Lynx. There's Elvira and the Party Monsters and Police Force. Here's Elvira and the Party Monsters. And as you can see, you don't have to be a pinball wizard to have a good time on these Atari coin-ops and you won't be needing any quarters. Now that's what I call pinball heaven. Secret weapons and tactics. Hey, all right, what a ride. We got a hot one for all you Top Gear diehards. The Game Pro Password Squad has knocked down a password that'll send you directly to the end of this super hard drive and Super Nintendo race. And we'll get you there immediately. Check this one out. First, bring up the password screen. Now enter K-E-E-L-S-O-N. You'll take a pole position in the final race of the most difficult segment of the game. Now, you are ready to hit the road in the Total Gearhead style. Cool, all right, one more time. Hey, bring up the password screen and enter K-E-E-L-S-O-N. That's it. Just watch for the flag and burn rubber. A Choplifter 2 puts the action-packed arcade game into your hands on the Game Boy. In this game, evil dudes have taken over the world at gunpoint, and it's your job to take command of an intact chopper, wipe out the evildoers, and rescue the hostages. Hey, that's no easy task, with tanks and airplanes shooting at you from every direction, and innocent hostages running around in the middle of the battle. But, we got a tip 
to fly you directly into Sector 5-3, the final mission. Check this out. As your password, enter G-D-D-Y-G-M-Z. That's it. You're flying high in the final mission to destroy the evil dudes and save the hostages. I know you want the password one more time, so there it is. Enter G-D-D-Y-G-M-Z. Now, fly into the final battle of Choplifter 2 for the Game Boy. If you have an unnatural hunger to be the best, if you're not afraid to eat the competition for breakfast, if you feel the uncontrollable urge to unleash your full game-playing power, then we dare you to watch the hairiest home video of them all. The Game Pro Home Video. It's like getting a monster in a box. Hey, man, there are a lot of reasons for not doing drugs. Well, where's Duke? Yeah, you get messed up. Yeah, you become a waste. You can even get killed. But my most important reason for not doing drugs is Roberto, my kid brother. Stay away from drugs because someone you love wants to be just like you. You may think the hardest part of tennis is the backhand or the service. But for most people, it's finding a partner to practice with. Introducing Play Solo, the original comeback game that lets you play all the time as singles or play double solo. Forget the backboard and quit picking up those balls. It's time for Play Solo, easy exercise for all ages and levels of ability. Play Solo uses a durable, pressureless ball, does not go flat. Includes a special band woven into the cover with both bungee and nylon cord connected by a swivel. Attached to an attractive weight bag. Order your Play Solo now. Call 1-800-456-9977. Play Solo is the original and is only $14.95 plus shipping and handling. Have your Visa or MasterCard ready and call 1-800-456-9977 now. Play Solo is the easy way to play an exercise for all ages. Just shorten the cord to your needs. And for a special holiday bonus offer, have your card ready and call 1-800-456-9977. Department Y. Hey, Sonic Superstars. I'm Jamie Singer from Miami, Florida. I've discovered some top seer game genie codes that'll help everyone's favorite blue blur, Sonic the Hedgehog, tear up the Genesis tracks and classic card by Sega. If you'd like to make Sonic jump super high, enter the code DDLTAAGL. If you'd like to make Sonic Skywalk, enter B-D-L-T-A-A-G-L as your code. There, now you'll be a few steps ahead of this speedster. Hey, that's it for today, gang. I do want to remind you, if you have any tips, tactics, or anything else on your mind, don't send us a note. No, I'm just kidding. Send us a note. We'll try to get your info on the show. Here's the address. Game Pro TV. P.O. Box 3329. Redwood City, California, 94064. All right, until next week, I'm J.D. Roth. See you later.